Hi everyone, welcome to Sue's Day. I'm Sue Angie Ferry and the fat woman driving the novel RV. On August 19th, Moxie, my little black cat and I, celebrated two years together. It was Moxie's second gotcha day. Two years ago, I drove into Minneapolis and I adopted her from her foster mother, Jess Lurie, another writer and a friend. My life has not been the same since. Now, we all know the benefits of having a furry little friend by our side, the comfort, the love, it's just wonderful. But what about the downside? What is the downside of living with an animal, particularly in a van? And that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. It definitely has a downside. And before you get a pet, you need to weigh the downside against the positive. So anyway, this summer, it was really obvious to me the inconveniences of traveling with Moxie. It was hot this summer, very hot. And I like to dry camp, but I had to pretty much be plugged in in the evenings or during the days when I camped because I needed my AC. Without the AC, Moxie and I would be very uncomfortable, particularly her. I mean, I can leave and go to a restaurant or a coffee shop or something and enjoy their AC, but what am I gonna do with Moxie? I can run my generator for the AC, but therein lies another problem because the generator is loud and whenever it's on for any length of time, Moxie starts vomiting. So, there's that. Now, I have an older Winnebago Travato. The newer ones do have special, uh, you know, electrical systems and things like that that make it easier to run ACs when you're not in your van. But I have an older version, so I have to go old school, meaning I have to be plugged in. And when I need to do errands, I do them early in the morning. I can't do them in the middle of the day when the sun is beating down on my van. I have to do my grocery shopping, my laundry. Um, if I wanna eat out, I have to eat out early in the day if it's a hot day out or just skip it all together. Um, I can't leave Moxie in the van when it's so hot out, even with the windows open and fans running. It's just not fair to her it's not good for her. I worry terribly about her. So I don't enjoy the time I have. So that's one of the downsides of traveling with an animal, particularly in the summer. You have to be always aware of the temperature in the van and their comfort level. Um, the rest of the year, it's not bad because I dry camp the rest of the year. And as long as the weather is good, Moxie and I do fine without hookups. Now, another inconvenience of traveling with a pet, whether it be a dog or a cat, is they take up room. You wouldn't think an 11 pound, an 11 pound cat would take up that much room, but it's not her that takes up the room. It's her stuff. Cats own stuff. They have their toys. Believe me, my floor is littered with cat toys. Uh, they have a scratch box. They have a litter box. They have food dishes. Moxie has stuff. And I gave up a big chunk of storage in the front cab area for her big litter box. But we deal with it, we roll with it. You also end up cleaning a lot more often. Let's face it, animals shed. I, in the summer in particular, Moxie is a terrible shedder and I have to brush her often, and I have to vacuum and sweep the floors often, dust more often. Uh, there's just a lot more care to the van than when it's just me living here. So, you know, it's it can be a really big inconvenience traveling with an animal, even dogs. Now, dogs have another issue. No matter if it's 100 outside, or 32 degrees outside, 
you have to take them out to do their business. Whether you have one, two, or three of them, they gotta go outside. At least with a cat, she can do her business in her litter box and I don't have to take her outside. So dogs have that particular issue. Now, dogs might be better at security because when a stranger comes up, they bark. Moxie doesn't bark. She will whine because she wants that stranger to pet her, but she doesn't bark. Then again, there are some dogs that are predisposed to barking all the time, and you can become an annoyance to your camping neighbors if that's the case, where a cat is quiet. Moxie's not quiet when it's just two of us. She yak, yak, yaks to me all the time. But in general, she's a very quiet animal. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of the upside and the downside of traveling with a pet. Now, even though there are times she's a pain in my ass, I can't imagine traveling without this furry little face. She is a comfort. She's fun. Uh, she's always happy to see me when I come back to the van. I just can't imagine my life without her any longer. But I'm willing to roll with those inconveniences for the pleasure of her company. So anyway, this is Sue and Moxie saying goodbye today and thanking you for showing up on Sue's Day. And I hope you'll come back next Sue's Day. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. And you all have a good day, you and your furry little friends.